ahead, as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking, going up against a gang like this? Oh, 
hunting me like I was game. And I swear to God, that's how I felt. I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. Ugh. when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. That stroke of good fortune evened the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Time... All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jim. Done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wild hat. My fury knew no bounds. You can't hide forever. Kill him! He's out of here. Oh! 
It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. I yelled out at the top of my lungs. Planton, I'm coming for you! A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a Gatlin gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun. one of the cowboys made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the OK Corral. 